Okay, this is going to be about the health of Elton John and Whoopi Goldberg. So I hope you like the video. If you do like the video, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It's a huge help to me. And thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So Elton and Whoopi, really short uh, little information about the two of them, just to get us off on the right foot. I did a video on, on Elton recently and went into a lot of detail. This will be just a short paragraph and then another a little bit longer paragraph about Whoopi. And here we go. So, uh, Sir Elton Hercules John, CH, which stands for Order of, uh, Order of the Champions of Honor for Outstanding Achievement uh, in Britain, and the C and CBE, which is for Most Excellent Order of the British Empire for Charitable Contribution. Uh, he was born, so his, his title would be Sir Elton Hercules John, CH, CBE. He's a knight. Uh, he was born Reginald Kenneth Dwight on the 25th of March, 1947, so he's an Aries. And uh, Reggie learned to play piano at an early age, and by 1962, he had formed a blues band until 1967 when he met longtime musical partner, lyric writer, Bernie Taupin. For two years, they wrote songs for other artists, while Reg uh, worked as a session musician for other artists. In January 7th, 1972, he legally changed his name to Elton Hercules John, taking the first names of two Bluology band members, uh, Bluesology band members. Uh, besides a phenomenal 60 plus year career, he was knighted by Queen Elizabeth II in 1998. And in 2019, French President Emmanuel Macron uh, presented Elton with France's highest civilian award, the Legion of Honor, calling him a mel melodic genius and praised his work on behalf of the LGBT community. Now, whoopee. Now, Whoopi's very interesting. Her name actually originally is Karen with a C, C A R Y N, Karen Elaine Johnson, and was born in Manhattan, New York on November 13, 1955. So she's a Scorpio like me. Now, professionally, she's known, of course, as Whoopi Goldberg. Karen was raised in public housing and dropped out of high school. She began a stage career in 1983 with a one woman show called Spook Show, and which transferred to Broadway under the title Whoopi Goldberg. Uh, and it ran for a year. She says her stage name Whoopi was from being a little gassy on stage and people said, oh, you're like a whoopee cushion. And in 1970, she moved to California and became a waitress, a bank teller, a mortuary cosmetologist, and a bricklayer. Uh, she also gave comedy and acting classes, and Courtney Love uh, was one of her students. Now, Whoopi is an actor, a comedian, an author, a television personality, and one of only 16 uh, entertainers to win the EGOT. And what is EGOT? That's E-G-O-T, and that stands for an Emmy, a Grammy, an Academy Award, and a Tony EGOT. Uh, she has a fear of flying because of witnessing the mid-air collision of Pacific Southwest Airlines Flight 182 in San Diego on September 25th, 1978 at 9.01 a.m. on a Monday morning. A commercial airliner collided with a private Cessna in the air over San Diego. The wreckage and debris fell into North Park, into the North Park neighborhood, and Whoopi currently co-hosts and moderates the daytime talk show, The View. So, let's see what the cards say. Okay, so these are the Toth Tarot deck, Alist Alistair Crowley, and these are from U.S. Game Systems. And uh, these cards are pretty amazing. Um, some like to use them if they've got kind of a severe uh, subject uh, that they think needs, uh, um, you know, a very direct uh, answer to them, in, in, uh, not a, a flowery answer. The guidebook is very useful, as a matter of fact. It's easy to read, and it's got some interesting uh, uh, information here on the um, author of the card and the painter of the cards and uh, with some uh, collaboration. So I'll just read this one little thing. This is by Lady Frida Harris, who actually painted these cards, and she says, Arthur Crowley's Toth Tarot Deck the tarot could be described as God's picture book, or it could be likened to a celestial game of chess, the trumps being the pieces to be moved according to the law of their own order over a checkered board of the four elements. I love that. That's a very insightful way. If you think of the artist using that as her guiding light to designing the cards, that's, that's pretty awesome. 
the cards themselves are are easy to read if you read the cards. In other words, if you don't impose your uh, predetermined notion of what a particular uh, card is supposed to mean, uh, like I often do, because I'm very much like the Rider Waite system, but these Toth cards are amazing. What happens here is that um, they tell you here in a, I don't know if you can see it, but in the background you see this tells you this is Wands, and of course this is the Prince of Wands, and then the um, the Major Arcana, they show them in the very faintly you see here it says Trumps, and uh, then this tells you this is Art. So they're not exactly the same uh, order of divination as the Rider Waite system, but not far off. And if you take a minute to familiarize yourself with, the, with how they uh, are ordered, then I think you'll be okay. And I'd just like to give you this chance to look at all these cards spread out in case you don't get a chance to see a, a lot of tarot cards. Um, maybe you're thinking about buying some cards and this would help you make a decision for or against these. They're a little big, so they're awkward to use, but once you get used to them, then that's fine. Just like anything, once you get used to using them, um, you know, you acclimate yourself to the system. So this is the Aleister Crowley Toth deck. Love these cards, actually. Okay, so this is going to be Elton John and Whoopi Goldberg. Elton John and Whoopi Goldberg. Elton John and Whoopi Goldberg. We're going to talk about health and futures. Elton John's health and Whoopi Goldberg's future. Elton John's health and Whoopi Goldberg's future. But first, let's have just a moment of meditation. Okay. Elton John and Whoopi Goldberg. So six cards each. First being Elton John, and we want to know about his health. Elton John's health. Elton John, health. Elton John, health. Elton John's health. Elton John. What can six cards tell me about Elton John's health? One, two, three. Four, five, six. Elton John's health in six cards. Elton John's health. Signifier card. Is this uh, Four of Cups? So the Four of Cups is being offered something that you don't particularly want, but in this uh, deck, it's referred to as luxury. So it's sort of in this uh, deck, and especially the way it's depicted here, it makes you think of an overabundance of, of something, so luxury. And sometimes a very rich life can lead to less uh, health than we would uh, have had otherwise. The challenge to that is the Hanged Man. Okay, so the Hanged Man is a major arcana. He's pretty far along the trip as number 12 in the major arcana. And uh, the Hanged Man is, speaks to us of looking at a thing from another position. But it's interesting that this um, Hanged Man almost looks like he's been kind of suedo crucified. He's got nails, a nail through his foot. He's got nails through his hands. Um, this is very interesting. Uh, that This would be the challenge to this overabundance uh, here with this Four of Cups. The base of this reading, with this seven of um, coins, uh, seven of discs, and this is called failure. And the seven of, of coins typically makes us uh, think of, what could I have done more? Okay, what could I have done more? So if we're talking about an overabundance of, of in your life, and look at something from another position, ah, I'm getting it. And what could I have done more? So if you had this very rich life and you've indul overindulged, maybe you should look at that in another way as uh, this uh, rich life has uh, been, you know, not the best for you. Remember, that rich life is what led to years of alcohol and drug abuse. And then the uh, seven of coins is uh, not having done quite enough. Hmm. The past of this reading with this four of um, uh, coins, four of discs, is uh, really trying to hold on to your value, You're trying to hold on to what you've got. And that certainly is what he is right now. I'm sure trying to keep himself as healthy as he can. And in the sky this reading is the Prince of, of Coins, the Prince of Discs. And uh, so this is the fellow who is equivalent to a Knight of Discs. And so this is a strong, uh, uh, urgent uh, calling to hold on to your value, okay, at all costs. And then the final outcome for that with this uh, 
21 is the end of a cycle. It's the completion. Um, it may be that he's coming to um, the point to where this rich life, um, he may wish he had rethunk the way he's lived. Interesting. So now we're going to talk about Whoopi Goldberg. Whoopi, Whoopi Goldberg's future. Whoopi Goldberg's future. Change the cards up. Whoopi Goldberg's future. Whoopi Goldberg. Karen. Whoopi Goldberg's future. Six cards. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whoopi Goldberg's future in six cards. Okay. The signature again, just like Elton John, four of cups, luxury. And I've got to tell you, last time I saw her on television, she it was obvious that she's been living the good life because she was quite, quite heavy. The challenge to that is this three of coins um, works. And then the uh, base of this reading, okay, with the five of wands is strife. And the five of wands is typically lots of issues that uh, just uh, c create uh, chaos. Past of this reading for Whoopi Goldberg's uh, future is uh, the universe. And again, this is the completion of a cycle. Interesting that it's in her past. And then the sky of this reading ah, is disappointment. So the five of cups is uh, typically, uh, you know, it's compassion, it's emotion. So this is an emotional disappointment. But typically there's something left to continue with. And the final outcome for Whoopi Goldberg's future is the five of discs, which is being uh, left out in the cold. Wow. So it looks like both of them have a little bit of a difficult uh, road ahead of them. So for Whoopi Goldberg's future, we have the Four of Cups, which is uh, luxury, and I think it's just the abundance of everything when she's lived her life. Uh, uh, it's challenged by the Three of Discs, which is um, uh, works. Uh, so this luxury is challenged by her value, by her work. Interesting. Maybe her work, I think, is, is coming to an end here. Um, the five of, of wands is uh, embattlement. Uh, okay. The past of this reading is the completion of a cycle. I wonder if her professional life is really winding down. And then the sky of this reading with the five of cups is disappointment. And with the final outcome, with the five of discs is worry being left out in the cold. Yep. I think her career may be coming to the point to where it's done. And it could be health related uh, on top of everything else. Well, that's what I got. So um, I don't know. I don't know how to. I, I, I feel so uncomfortable doing a reading like this, especially about people that I, I like. But uh, tell me what you thought about the cards. Um, it's very interesting. Uh, you guys' uh, take on these things so many times. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now. You really make a big difference. Thank you.